question three. Off to question three. Uh, question three reads. Um, so, the equation. Okay. So our equation is four x minus one, and that is uh, minus two x is equal to eight. Okay. So we write this in base of two. That'll be two to the power two x minus one. In minus two x is equal to eight. Then we let sorry let uh let two to the power x be equal to k. Okay, so okay, first of all let me simplify this then two two x minus two minus two x is equal to eight. Then this is just the same as two to the power two x it will be over. 2 to the power 2 since it's subtracting so it's over 2 to the power 2 then minus 2 the power x is equal to 8 then we let 2 to the power x be equal to k okay so this will be okay so this is just the same as 2 to the power x and the 2 outside here multiplying the, the x okay so when we rewrite this to be equal to k squared over 2 to the power 2 minus k is equal to 8 so this is the same as k squared over 4 minus k oh minus k sorry is equal to 8 okay so we multiply this by 4 to get rid of the fraction so that would be k squared minus 4k is equal to 32 okay so this will be equal to k squared minus 4k minus 13, 2 is equal to 0. What can you add and get 4, but when you multiply, you get negative 32. So that will be k squared minus 8k plus 4k minus 32 is equal to 0. So k squared minus 8k uh, plus 4k minus 32 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is going to be k, k minus 8 plus 4, k minus 8 is equal to 0. So k plus 4, k minus 8 is equal to 0. So k plus 4 is equal to 0 or k minus 8 is equal to 0. So k is equal to 8 or k is equal to negative 4. But since we now switch it back, we switch back the k. Since we let we let 2x uh, is equal to, to be equal to k. So we switch it back will be 2 to the power x will be equal to negative 4 or 2 to the power x will be equal to 8. This is undefined. And then this will be uh, 2 to the power x. We can write this as 2 to the power 3. Okay. So 2 to the power 3. So in short, this and this will cancel. Our x will be equal to 3. 3b says uh, log. That is log 3, 2x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to log 3, uh, 3x minus 11. Okay, so we bring this this side and take this uh, the other side. So that will be log 3, 2x plus 1 uh, minus log 3, 3x minus 11 is equal to 2. Okay, so there's there's a rule in logarithm that says when you're subtracting and okay, a log of the same power, when you're subtracting a log of the same power, you can rewrite it as uh, log 3 of anything that is in here, of anything that is in here, sorry, divided by anything that is in here. So that would be 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 11. To learn more, you can uh, look at uh, logarithms. Then there's another rule in logarithms which is uh, 
this can be written into an index an index so we know that uh, log a of b is equal to c this is just the same as a to the power c is equal to b okay so in this case that would be 3 to the power 2 is equal to 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 11 so this is going to be 9 is equal to 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 11 okay so when you cross multiply this that will give you a 27x minus 99 is equal to 2x plus 1 okay so now this is going to be uh, 27x minus 2x is equal to 99 plus 1 so this is going to be 100 and then this is going to be 25x so over 25 over 25 x will be equal to uh, 4 okay question 4 reads uh, find the value of q given that the expression dash 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 dash, dash is, it, is, divided, is divisible by 2x okay so this is going to be 2x to the power 3 x to the power 3 minus 3x squared plus qx plus 6 and this is divisible by 2x minus 1 okay so I'll write this as a function so p to the power x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus qx plus 6 since it is divisible by this so it, sh it means sorry okay since okay so since it is divisible by this it means uh, okay first of all let me write this okay it means when you equate this to 0 x will be equal to 1 over 2 isn't it because this is just the same as x or 2x is equal to 1 then when you divide this is going to be this okay so now since it is divisible by this it means this is a factor and when it is a factor it means when you plug it in the answer you should get would be should be zero okay so in short when you so p of one over two should be equal to zero you get that car yeah so p of one over two is equal to two one over Two to the power three minus three one over two to the power three oh sorry the power two and plus q one over two to the power six oh sorry one over two plus six okay plus six so this is going to be zero it will be equal to two one over eight minus three one over four plus q one over two M plus 6 okay so 0 will be equal to 2 times this that will be 1 over 4 minus this will be 3 over 4 so that will be q over over 2 plus 6 okay let's get rid of the fraction let's multiply uh, 4 so 0 will be equal to 1 minus 3 plus 2q plus 24 okay so 24 minus 3 that would be 21 yeah that would be 21 then uh, plus 1 that would be 22 so 22 plus 2q is equal to 0 so 2q is equal to 20 negative 22 so over to over to q will be equal to 11 negative 11 okay then b what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to write these as functions so p of x is equal to 7x squared plus 35 then 44x minus 3 oh sorry 2x cubed is equal to okay let me just say say kx is equal to this 
Okay. So since they say that so in short, P A is equal to K A as they leave the same remainder. So P of A is just seven A squared plus three A thirty five, sorry, is equal to forty four A minus two A cubed. Okay. When you plug in A. Alright, so this is just the same as two A power three. Uh, minus minus uh oh sorry plus seven a squared minus forty four a plus thirty five is equal to zero. Okay, so we begin something that is called trial and error. This just simply means we plug in values. Mostly between uh, negative three and three, and see which one will give us zero. Okay, so let's try um, let's try one. When we plug in one, let me see. So two, let's say one cubed plus seven one squared minus forty four one. Plus 35. Let me see if this will give us 0. So this is going to be 2 plus 7 minus 44 plus 35, which is 0. Okay. Right. Since this plus this, that will be uh, 42 plus this, that will be 44. Then minus 44, that will be 0. Okay. So our first value is A is equal to. So A is equal to 1 is our first value. Okay. So writing this as an equation, that will be A minus 1 is equal to. Zero. So a minus so this equation here. This equation here is divisible by a minus one. All right. So let's divide. So a minus one. I'll use long division. Is two a cubed plus seven a squared minus forty four a plus thirty five. Okay. So. Let's start dividing. So one, oh sorry, a into this that will be two a, sorry, two a squared. Then this times this that will be two a cubed times that will be minus two a squared. So minus this and this zero. Then this and this will be nine a squared. This and this that will give us plus nine plus nine a. Then multiply. 9a times a, that will be 9a squared minus 9a. Then we bring down in minus 44a minus. So this and this goes. Then 44 plus 9, that will be 35a minus 35. Then this will be negative 35. This is a. Minus 35a. Then when we multiply this times that, that will be minus 35a, then that will be minus 35, sorry, plus 35. Then we drop down this 35, then we subtract this, give us 0. Okay, so now that we have this equation here, we solve, we solve this equation, and that will give us the, the rest of the values of a. So 9a. 9a plus 35. Okay, so this is going to be. Uh, what can we multiply and get 70? But when we add, oh sorry, it's minus negative 70. But when we add, we get uh, 9. Okay, so that's just uh, 5 and 5 and 14. Okay. To a squared minus 14, oh sorry, plus 14a minus 5a minus 35 is equal to 0. This is going to be 2a a plus 7 and minus 5a plus 7 is equal to 0. 2a minus 5a plus 7 is equal to 0. So 2a minus 5 is equal to 0 or a plus 7 is equal to 0. So 2a 
is equal to 5 a will be equal to 5 over 2 or uh, oh sorry sorry there's no zero but anyway okay so a is equal to negative 7 so these are the values of a so a is equal to 5 over 2 or a is equal to negative 7 or a is equal to the first value that we found which is which is 1 so these are the values of a